Nobel laureate C. V. Raman is the great saga of Indian science. Raman's passion for science made him to resign government job. There are three distinctive phases in Raman's scientific career. Raman received gold medals in BA and MA physics. Research attracted Raman outside the office hours. Like Einstein, Raman was inquisitive even as a child. Raman has a great flair for English language. Raman could not go to UK on high, higher studies for health reasons. Raman published his first paper in Philosophical Magazine. Raman won gold medal in MA degree also. Raman joined IACS Calcutta. One day Raman saw a board IACS. It kindled Raman's fire for research. Daily routine of Raman is nerve-breaking. The background music is from Tambura in acoustics and vibration in which Raman is very much interested. Raman and K.S. Krishnan work together. February 28, 1928, Raman announced his epoch-making discovery. Raman received Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930 in just two years. Raman had a wonderful collection of rocks and crystals in his museum. Raman takes pleasure to take visitors around the museum. Raman takes pleasure to show museum to visitors. Raman appreciates integrity and honesty. Teach me integrity, I teach you physics. Raman delivers a lecture. Raman with his spectrum of research scholars. Raman with his simple spectrometer. Raman and his wife with Professor Arnold Sommerfield. Raman at work. Philanthropist Mahendra Lal Sarkar. All professors recommended Raman for 1930 Nobel Prize for Physics. An energy level diagram showing anti-Stokes lines. This pro pro pro